time now to get to know another member mm -hmm. of Team Rickshaw 2019 a little bit better. We've yes. already heard from Uche, Kelsey and Adele, but tonight we'll meet our full rider. Yes, now like 700,000 other young carers in the UK, Josh has sacrificed some of his childhood to look after a loved one. And this is his story. My name's Josh, I'm 17, and I live with my mum, dad and brother Jake in Lancashire along with our two dogs, Hattie and Totty. Come on, come on. I need Hattie. My brother Jacob's 15 and has a rare condition called Hell's Mortal Syndrome. It means he has severe learning disabilities, many complex needs and requires constant care. Do you want to have your breakfast first? Yeah, no. He gets really aggressive and can hit and kicks and punches just because he doesn't know how to show his emotions. When we look at photographs, it just brings it all back, how difficult and hard times have been. Because Jacob consumed our lives so much, we can't actually remember Joshua as a toddler, and that makes us feel really sad. Have some water. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy the banana. I'll go get some. Caring for Jacob is a 24-7 role. I'd help him get changed in the morning, get his breakfast for him and just ensure that he's always happy. There you go. Happy boy. I would say Joshua's had to grow up quicker than other children because he's had greater responsibilities yeah. than most. You know, we couldn't have got through the last 15 years without him. It's a low back. <laughs> Me and Jacob have got a really strong bond and we're always really loving to each other. Jacob brings everybody an awful lot of joy and happiness, but at the same time, day-to-day -day life can be very wearing. Sometimes I don't get much sleep because Jacob's up three or four times in the night. I've got a lock on my bedroom door because things can get too intense. So I just go upstairs and lock myself in my room. I found it really hard to revise from my GCSEs because the house was always noisy. I sometimes want to have friends over, but I've been too shy to invite them because I don't know how they'd react with Jacob. <laughs> Care of Sports South Lakes has given me the chance to meet other young people who are going through the same situations at home. As parents, we just can't thank them enough for the support that they've given Joshua. I think it's really helped that he's been able to open up his feelings to somebody that isn't family. No one really understands how hard it is. No. Because they think, oh, yeah, it's just a bit of caring, but it isn't because it affects. When I first met Josh, he was really quite a shy young man, um, quite withdrawn. But over time, I've watched his confidence grow. If it wasn't for Nicola and Care of Support South Lakes, I don't know how I'd have got through the challenging times. Without the funding from Children in Need, we wouldn't be able to go on any trips and have fun and give them a break from the caring role. Go to number five. Yeah. That's why that building. So we need to be over there. Josh is very unique. He's not into social media or technology. He just loves spending his time outside, being close to nature. Gardening's been a big passion of my life since I was younger, and it gives me a chance to escape. So what we're looking for is a straight top on this. Last month I was accepted onto an apprenticeship in horticulture. It's a dream job working in one of the top gardens in the world. We'll soon have you going up clipping some of these big ones. <laughs> I don't think I'd have got my apprenticeship without young carers helping me along the way and giving me the confidence. Yay! Taking part in this year's Rickshaw Challenge, it's just going to give him so much confidence. It's doing something that's just for him. The thing that I'm most excited about is being a part of a team and helping each other along. I've been preparing by trying to cycle around 10 miles a night and sometimes Jacob does tag along with me. We feel incredibly proud and this is our time to give our support back to Josh. I'll be looking out for Jacob cheering me on to keep on going and not to give up. Thank you.
Josh deserves to just have the best week he ever. Does. And he will, yeah. he will. As soon as he spoke and he talked, I, I knew he'd be a big, big part of, you know of Team Richard. That's why Richard. I love this show, because you get to shine a light on some amazing, inspirational yeah, people. Well, it next really Friday, is. we will be leaving from the port at Holyhead, if you fancy an early morning and getting down there, uh, and then cycling 400 miles. Oh. As you do. <laughs> As you do. But please support Team Rickshaw by making a donation to children in need. These are the important numbers. Let's have some music because here we go. You can donate £5 by texting the word TEAM to 70405. Or you can donate £10. Just text the word TEAM to 70410. So, to donate 20 quid, text the word TEAM to 70420. And if you can, donate £30, then text the word TEAM to 70430. Yeah, those texts will cost your donation plus your standard network message charge and all of your donation will go to BBC Children in Need. You must be 16 or over and please ask for the bill payers' permission. For full terms and conditions, just go to bbc.co.uk slash pudsey where you can also donate any amount that you any like amount. online. <laughs> Whatever you can give, every single penny helps the lives of children in the UK. The donation lines are open now, so pick up your phone and start texting. And here is the incredible thing, because this year, for every pound donated to the Rickshaw Challenge, mm -hmm. the Hunter Foundation will donate 40p on top of that and make your donation yeah. go even further. So, yes. you know, if you're going to put a tenner in the pot, it turns into 14 <laughs> quid. And, of course, wait, Team Rickshaw aren't the only ones doing their bit for children in need. Straight no. after the one show tonight, you'll see a star-studded cast lending their voices to a very special album. Uh, now,